Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about healthy eating, why it is important to eat healthy and how can we do that. So my name is Roger, welcome, and today I will be talking with Debbie Esplin, who has a channel where she specializes in healthy eating. The name of the channel is Debbie Esplin, so I would like you to pass it on now to Debbie. Oh, and by the way, be sure to subscribe, like and share, and be sure to look at our channel too. You, well, you know, healthy eating is always important, whether we're in a pandemic or not. But when we're in a pandemic, healthy eating is especially important because your immune system needs healthy foods and a healthy diet in order to function properly. So if you're not, if your eating is not very healthy, then your immune system will be affected. And depending on your general state of health anyway, it may be impacted greatly or it may be impacted less, but you can always be healthier and have a healthier immune system if you eat healthy foods. So for example, I can give you three tips. And the first tip is eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and they can be frozen, good protein sources and whole grain. So you really want the majority of your diet to be some fruit, lots of vegetables, protein, whether it's fish, meat, fowl, or whether it, you know, plant protein and whole grains, not processed white white grains, you want whole grain. And that will give your body the fuel it needs to give your immune system the punch it needs to be healthy. So the second thing you can do is eat less processed foods. Try to eat as few processed foods as possible because they contain a lot of salt or a lot of fat, a lot of sugar. They're not necessarily as healthy as if you were to eat less processed food. And so, and they can make it harder for your gut to digest your food. And that also makes it harder for your immune system to work because if your gut can't digest your food properly and pull all the nutrition out during digestion, well then it's not there to help your body. So that's the second tip. And then the third tip is you should drink lots of water. Our bodies are mostly water and we need a lot of water to function properly. So men, say your average size man, man would need around almost three liters a day. That's like 16 cups a day. And either your very small man or a, a woman would be more like two, two and a half liters, 12 cups a day. So it's really important to be drinking water all the time. I'll give you a quick bonus tip. The first thing you should do in the morning when you wake up is have a glass of water to get your body refreshed after eight hours of not having any liquid. So oh, yeah. those are my tips. So tell me, Roger, are you doing any of these things? What are you doing to eat healthy? Well, what am I doing? Well, okay, one thing actually I'm not doing enough is you talk about water because huh? I mean, uh, yes, I've, uh, I've realized that. And I had a similar d discussion with Lisa as well. We are talking about that a little bit. She also mentioned water, I think. Yeah. And I know that's true. I don't drink any, enough water. So what I'll do to get last year or something, I started to drink Good. water. What happened is that I had water in the morning and then when I got up and then just water. And you know what? I'm going to do it again. Yeah, because yeah, I, cause it's really hard on your body if you don't drink enough water. It's yeah. hard on your kidneys. So you should be drinking all day long throughout the day. Right. Okay. So I'm going to to start tomorrow well today actually yeah. i don't have to wait until tomorrow i've got yeah. a bottle of water here so Good. in the kitchen so what i'll do i'll uh, i'll take it upstairs and so when i get up or even during the night i can have a, a glass of water yes so i'll do that I promise us from that's tomorrow a good idea. okay maybe they'll be two hours before bedtime sort of cut down on the water a bit so that you're not stuck getting up too often in the night you know i already get up a lot because i've got yeah so you don't need to get up more <laughs> i don't need to get up more that's for sure now in terms of the diet what do i do otherwise yeah for since the last nearly 12 months i've been eating healthier but actually me and Gwen, when when was alive we we started to make progress we actually ban well ban processed food we stopped buying them and i'm oh, sure but, but yeah i'm sure we bought other things that were processed as well but we bought we banned okay we stopped them we, you know the one with the chicken the rice with it and you got this mm -hmm. and that and that kind of thing yeah. and then even sometimes you have a, a fish and then you have some chips next to it you Check that in the microwave. I had one meal like that in the last 12 months, so just one. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, just the one that was uh, just bought it from down the road here. Yeah? And, but you know what? When we start this process uh, meal, it was definitely better because you're right, I didn't digest them properly. It was just a very short lived benefit, if I can, yeah. that way, very short lived. And uh, and my my belly was quite, I mean, to be honest, was quite big because man, I am very <laughs> tall. So you could see it even more. Uh -huh. The fact, the very, the the uh, the negative of that is that I find it difficult to get in cars that were very low, very low down. 
in, in the car I had at the time, it was okay because my Renault had, was high enough. Mm -hmm. It was high enough for Gwen and it was high enough for me. But when Michael came over, he had a much lower car, a Peugeot, much lower. And, and sometimes we used it when we have an issue with the car. And then it, it, it was a hell of an exercise to go in. I had to, to go lying down like, like that, you know, like that. And then that, that's, <sighs> just imagine my arm is here. And then I was pulling to get it on <sighs> seat, then turn my legs like that, go and sit. And then, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was quite something to be honest on that one. So, uh, so obviously we didn't know when Gwen was going to go pass away. So when we said when we need another car, we'll have to find one that makes sure that's high enough for you. And then, well, so when she passed away on the 22nd of February last year, uh, so which is going to be Monday, uh, uh, death uh, passing away anniversary. Yeah, it's that um, I've been eating. Healthy. The country went into lockdown about three to four weeks after that, and the, the um, so I decided to to eat healthier. Fortunately, the week mm. after she passed away, the country didn't go into lockdown, so I went to eat, to eat out because I, I I was not in a mind to do anything for me at all. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then uh, but I made sure I had some vegetables, even if it was oh, vegetables. I had I made sure of that. Yeah. And so I had always something healthier. And after that, I just decided to uh, eat um, to eat vegetable every single day. I always have Very food good. In, the morning. in the morning, I yeah. always have an apple or mm -hmm. grapes, mainly. Now and again, yeah. I got this one. <laughs> I get this one in yeah. the, <laughs> the day. Yeah. Um, the, and I have been, been eating vegetables every single day ever since. Um, that's wonderful because most um, people a lot of people don't eat enough vegetables and they're so important oh i'm glad to hear it talking about that it's interesting what you're saying because at some point my neighbor uh, in he, he kind of guessed what i was eating no he came once and he said oh i've got vegetables i said oh you don't eat them oh, <laughs> he said to me we don't eat that kind of thing okay fair enough oh oh so dear he, i know he had somebody it was uh, was delivering him some free vegetables, and it's a guy that was very ill, so he, he might not be alive now because he was really 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 bad. Oh. Uh, he got some vegetables for him, but because they don't eat them, he, he went to me. So at some point, I had lots of vegetables from him, especially in the first three or four months of lockdown. After that, it just faded away, and I think okay. the guy was so bad, he, he had cancer and other thing, and oh. he, he was very yeah. bad. Anyway, so. So that was great, and I carried on buying vegetables. But you know what? It, it it does make a difference. It does really, it does really make a difference. Number one, I can sit in any car now, any height, because I lost. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I lost exactly. No matter if it is a high one or a very low one, I can go in. And then uh, the and then the uh, the other benefit is that. So that was good, and also because. Um, I have other issues going to the bathroom and that kind of thing. So that actually made it better too. Yes, yes. And that's definitely it. That they made it better. So the so in the morning I always, even before, always had an apple or grapes and sometimes both. Yeah, yeah. that's and, good. Yeah. That gives you good fiber, and fiber helps with you know yeah. digestion and everything too. Especially with me, I, I need because I have. Um, I take taroxin for my my thyroid, and okay. uh, yeah, so that it means that as an effect, a side effect on my um, digestion. Okay. Yeah, so so um, uh, so obviously, if I don't eat properly, it it will uh, exacerbate the 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 negative side effect. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So and also that's what I wanted to mention when I went to France and my mom was still alive. And my dad is still with us, but when I went to France, my mom was still with us. They both noticed that my belly had gone down. Oh, and then yeah, Michael, yeah? and then Michael who came, who I call him my uh, my uh, editor in chief, my bubble editor. -in -chief. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's the one who helped me with the video pad and all that. And he even noticed uh, that when I pick up something on the floor in the kitchen. Uh, he has noticed, um, he, oh, 
Right. Oh, you you can bend easier. Ah. So in not very is, nice. Yeah. That's good. Those are very good signs. It is a very good sign because I did not ask, do you think I'm doing this or that? No, I did not ask yeah. if you said it. Yeah. So when they had to take me to, uh, for about a few months, I did not have a car. So he took me to uh, the supermarket, to Sainsbury's, uh, for about quite a few months, actually, before I got a new car. And he noticed that. He said, oh, well, you can go in. Yeah, I said to him, that's great, isn't it? I said, uh, before it was a hell of a, Hello, uh, like uh, an acrobatic uh, exercise. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> so, wonderful. So that changes. Wonderful. Oh yeah, definitely. Now it's different. So I would definitely suggest that. And then, to be honest, I haven't bought any McDonald's for the last twelve months. Good. I haven't that's bought any good. crisps for the last twelve months. I slept a little bit. I had four crisps, not four bags, four crisps when I went to my oh. son. His wife gave me four crisps. No, oh, oh, I say, come on then. And then. Um, but at least when I go shopping, even if I walk past the, the workers' crips, I might want it like the space of a mini second, but I let it go now. I let That's it go good. because yeah. I look for a fact. Yeah, and I must be honest, I do enjoy having crisps, but the point is it's not doing me any good. So That's right. So so I so I thought right, like, same with coffee. I love my coffee, but I haven't had any coffee since the seventeenth of December. And oh, wow. because I have some palpitations, so I thought, well, okay, you enjoy your coffee for the last 40 years. You got probably another 30 or maybe a bit more uh, um, life on this planet. So then you can enjoy something else. Yeah. And then, yeah. so, Good attitude. yeah. <laughs> so I bought some, um, some um, coffee equivalent from Holland and Barrett, but it's completely caffeine free. Okay. And so it's in, yeah, it's in this cup at the moment. Oh, wonderful. Here, I'll have a sip of tea. I have uh, Earl Grey tea here. Yeah, and, and then I do drink tea now and again. Yeah, with proper sugar. Uh, with, mm -hmm. But actually, I drink more of this one. But I, I still need to make some progress. Number one, on the, number one on the water. No, yeah. uh, definitely, I eat all grain, I think bread, is it all grain, the one, yeah, bread? Yeah, whole grain, yeah. Yeah, or 50-50, they call it sometimes in this country, so half white, half. Okay, um, so half it's half whole grain, yeah. Yeah, I think there is something else I need to improve on, because you mentioned three tips. Can you just remind our viewers uh, sure. quickly so your three tips? Number one. Lots of, yeah, lots of fruits and vegetables. So I'm doing that. Good protein sources <laughs> and whole grains, good protein sources. So they are like good, good quality so, protein. So, sorry. So food and vegetables, they're good protein sources, yes? Yeah. And whole grains. That's tip number two, is it? Whole grains? No. Uh, no, that's tip number one. Oh, Three it's only the same. One. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and then tip number two is to cut down on the processed foods that you eat. Oh, but I wish I have done anyway. Yeah. And then, and then tip, tip number three, number three is to drink a lot of water. Yeah, so I still need to improve on one at least, which is water. Oh, we'll have to do a follow-up in a little while and see how your improvement goes. We'll check in yeah. on your, yeah, your habit-changing. Yeah, definitely. So vegetables and fruit and all grain. Number two, cut on the processed food. And number three, increase your intake of water. And I definitely yes. need to do that. So I'm working with our guys out there. So... Very good. Uh, yeah, so guys out there, thank you, Debbie, for uh, those uh, very interesting. Oh, please, by the way, do not, do not forget to press that bell. I mean, not only that, to press Deb's explain bell too and a subscribe <laughs> button, which is, so the, the name of your channel is? Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E, Esplin, E-S-P-L-I-N. Yeah. Esplin, okay, Debbie Esplin, okay, and... Uh, you can see a card on this video. When you watch it, you can see a card. So you can click on that and discover our channel. And so, guys, please let us a comment below. Let us know what your experience is. Have you changed your diet during lockdown? And it can be very difficult because, obviously, it's affecting the way we think, the way we do things and all that. Yeah. And um, what have you done? Or hopefully, this video is, is going to help you to do that. Okay. And I would encourage you to do that because uh, when I was in France, my mom and dad, they noticed it. My friend Michael noticed it. 
I did not ask him, so he noticed it. But, and then myself, I feel better for it. So God, that's, that's the best part. You feel better. Oh yeah, I feel better. I'm yeah. still have one more thing. I'm tired when I shouldn't be in that kind of thing because I work up during the night. But that's another thing. Well, at least I feel better. So what I'm thinking, what what would have been my life been like if I had not done it? Yes. That's yes. the point. That's the point. Yes. Yeah. Really. I would oh, do, yeah. yeah, so that's the, that's the point. So I'll leave, guys out there, I'll leave you with these thoughts. Okay, so see you again in the next video. And then very, uh, thank you very much for being on this uh, with you with me. And You're welcome, thank you. And then guys, see you next time. Bye-bye for now.